Hello again and welcome back to The Front Row, a minor production of the First Congregational Church in South Peak and where our intent is to bring snippets from our Sunday morning message into your week. So where are we going with all of this? What, what can we do practically to really speak into our own hearts or investigate our own hearts and think about what is this spiritual discipline of simplicity? How does it work? How do we... How do we lean into it? Remember that inward development is something that's so important and then we need to see an outward expression of it. So how does all that work? Well, all, our author has three suggestions that we're going to dive into that are centered around a premise. And that premise is this. He contends that the inward reality of simplicity involves a life of joyful unconcern for possessions. So it's not... We're not saying get rid of everything. That's not the point of this conversation. That is a personal decision based on the Holy Spirit working in and through us. What we're talking about is keeping it all in perspective. And our author says that the inward reality of simplicity involves a life of joyful unconcern for possessions. I'm not concerned about it. He goes on to define it this way. He contends that freedom from anxiety... Freedom from anxiety is the inward reality of simplicity. That this freedom from anxiety is present when we live from that divine center and it is characterized by three inner attitudes. So it's this release of this bondage and slavery to our things and our stuff. And it's keeping it all in perspective so that freedom from anxiety just being able to breathe and live and be in this world and not worry about our stuff. And it comes in three forms. First of all, uh, are three ways that we can get to that freedom from anxiety to our stuff and uh, um, these possessions overtaking us. And the first form, the first way that we approach that is to receive what we have as a gift from God. To realize that everything in this world is a gift from God. Now, we could go down the material path and say, wait a minute, I went to a job and I got paid. I was That money I deserved because I put forth my labor, it is now my money and I get to do with, what, with it what I want. And if I want to go buy a widget and I want to do whatever I want with that widget, uh, that is my responsibility and my prerogative. Right? That's a worldly way of approaching that. But what if we took another look at it from uh, this idea of seeking first his kingdom and his righteousness and appreciating God's role in all of this, that he is the creator and the sustainer of all things, including our lives. We didn't even get up this morning unless God allowed it to happen. Our bodies move, our muscles move, our lungs work, our mind works. The ability to actually go to work and produce something, to do something that earns that income is given to us by God and so that money that comes into our house, we're just stewarding it. That's all we're doing. And we have responsibilities, yes, and we're going to take care of those responsibilities, but it's not mine. That everything that we have is a truly a gift from God. Now, that, that takes a lot of thought and process and uh, understanding and time to really get to that place. But if we can get there, it starts to release that anxiety that can come up in our mind when we think that that is our possession and we need to, we need to hoard it and we need to hold on to it and we mm, this mine. So the first step, and we're going to talk about the other two in the next couple of days, but the first step toward this freedom from anxiety around our stuff is to realize that every single thing that we own, quote unquote own, is a gift from God. Come back tomorrow for number two. Blessings to you. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Bye-bye for now.